So I just finished all the wiring, uh, put a new lug on there, uh, zero gauge all the way into this. It's all waterproofed. I only got 120 amp in there right now, even though I have a bigger system going, I'll change the fuse at that time because it doesn't need that big. Panels all nicely tucked back in. I'll put it nicely. Still flush with all the carpet, still flush with all the trim. I ran it up and behind. I noticed the gap that if you run it in here, you run it in behind the steel structure that's here instead of up and around. Um, just tap the trunk here. Um, and then ran it directly to the amp. Uh, that wire it was just long enough. Um, that is going to go to the back here to where a battery is going to go. So uh, either or, either my battery rack along the front or to here. That wire was just long enough to put my positive on the other side. As you can see, I have an extra ground. I have ground here and I have a ground down here. Um, yeah, this is just temporarily. Uh, I know I should have a fuse in between those two. But um, as I say, I've been pretty lucky with it and this is only a little tiny amp that's literally just pushing mids that's not even cranked um so i'm not worried about it uh within the next week or two i will be putting in a bigger system anyways and we will be putting in um a fuse distributor block uh dual battery isolator four batteries and uh, an Orion HCCA 3000 SPL with a HCCA 12.2 um, um, subwoofer, 12 inch subwoofer. So in a uh, ported box that will fit in there. So uh, one love to everybody. And uh, yeah, it only took me a couple of hours. I'm not sure what time it is right now. It is uh, an hour and a half it took me to do that job. Uh, very clean, very simple, and I put um, reducers on the ends instead now, um, so it's a little bit more cleaner, uh, a little bit more nicer. So yeah, one love, and uh, I hope you enjoy.